power through prayer by Edward McHenry Bounds Chapter 10 Prayer and devotion united There is a manifest want of spiritual influence on the ministry of the present day I feel it in my own case and I see it in that of others I'm afraid there is too much of a low managing contriving maneuvering temper of mind among us we are laying ourselves out more than is expedient to meet one man's taste and another man's prejudices the ministry is a grand and holy affair and it should find in us a simple habit of spirit and a holy but humble indifference to all consequences the leading defect in christian ministers is want of a devotional habit by richard cecil never was there greater need for saintly men and women more imperative still is the call for saintly god devoted preachers the world moves with gigantic strides satan has his hold and rule on the world and labors to make all its movements subserve his ends religion must do its best work present its most attractive and perfect models by every means modern sainthood must be inspired by the loftiest ideals and by the largest possibilities and by the largest possibilities through the spirit paul lived on his knees that the efficient church might measure the heights breadths and depths of an unmeasurable saintliness and be filled with all the fullness of god epaphras laid himself out with the exhaustive toil and strenuous conflict of fervent prayer that the colossian church might stand perfect and complete in all the will of god everywhere everything in apostolic times was on the stretch that the people of god might each and all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ no premium was given to dwarfs no encouragement to an old babyhood the babies were 
to grow the world instead of feebleness and infirmities but to bear fruit in old age and be fat and flourishing the divinest thing in religion is holy men and holy women no amount of money genius or culture can move things for god holiness energizing the soul the whole man a flame with love with desire for more faith more prayer more zeal more consecration this is the secret of power these we need and must have and men must be the incarnation of this god inflamed devotedness god's advance has been stayed his cause crippled his name dishonored for their lack genius though the loftiest and most gifted education though the most learned and refined position dignity place honored names high ecclesiastics cannot move this chariot of our god it is a fairy one and fairy forces only can move it the genius of the milton fails the imperial strength of a leo fails brenard's spirit can move it brenard's spirit was on fire for god on fire for souls nothing earthly worldly selfish came into abate in the least the intensity of this all impelling and all consuming force and flame prayer is the creator as well as the channel of devotion the spirit of devotion is the spirit of prayer prayer and devotion are united as soul and body are united as life and the heart are united there is no real prayer without devotion no devotion without prayer the preacher must be surrendered to god in the holiest devotion he is not a professional man his ministry is not a profession it is a divine institution a divine devotion he is devoted to god his aim aspirations ambition heart for god and to god and to such prayer is and to such prayer is as essential as food is to life the preacher above everything else must be devoted to god the preacher's relations to god are the insignia and credentials of his ministry this must be clear conclusive unmistakable no common surface type of pity must be his if he does not excel in grace he does not excel at all if he does not preach by life character conduct he does not preach at all if his pity be light his preaching may be as soft and as sweet as music as gifted as apollo yet its weight will be a feathers weight yet its weight will be a feathers weight visionary fleeting as the morning cloud or the early dew devotion to god there is no substitute for this in the preacher's character and conduct devotion to a church 
to opinions to an organization to orthodoxy these are paltry misleading and vain when they become the source of inspiration the animus of a call god must be the main spring of the preacher's effort the fountain and crown of all his toil the name and honor of jesus christ the advance of his cause must be all in all the preacher must have no inspiration but the name of jesus christ no ambition but to have him glorified no toil but for him then prayer will be a source of his illuminations the means of perpetual advance the gas of his success the perpetual aim the only ambition the preacher can cherish is to have god with him never did the cause of god need perfect illustrations of the possibilities of prayer more than in this age no age no person will be ensamples of the gospel power except the ages or persons of deep and earnest prayer a prayerless age will have but scant models of divine power prayerless hearts will never rise to this prayerless hearts will never rise to these alpine heights the age may be a better age than the past but there is an infinite distance between the betterment of an age by the force of an advancing civilization and its betterment by the increase of holiness and christ likeness and christ likeness by the energy of prayer the jews were much better when christ came than in the ages before it was the golden age of their farisaic religion their golden religious age crucified christ never more praying never less praying never more sacrifices never less sacrifice never less idolatry never more idolatry never more of temple worship never less of god worship never more of lip service never less of heart service god worshiped by lips whose hearts and hands crucified god's son never more of church goers never less of saints never more of church goers never less of saints it is prayer force which makes saints holy characters are formed by the power of real praying the more of true saints the more of praying the more of praying the more of true saints the more of true saints the more of praying the more of praying the more of true saints